I think part of, if you're, a lot of people in this room are entrepreneurs, started their own businesses, done various things, taken risks of various kinds. And I think the, uh, one of the precursors, one of the foundational things to being able to take risk is to have had some kind of support from somebody. You have to have some mentors, you have to have somebody who loves you. These are the kind of things that build up and allow you to kind of you know jump off into uncharted terrain and do something new because you know you have a support system of one kind or another and uh, and I certainly did so I, for, for me I just want to point out that I I, I feel very strongly that um, there's a I've won a lot of lotteries uh, Amazon is one of the lotteries that I've won but I had a big lottery with my parents my dad is a Cuban immigrant he came here when he was 16 years old didn't speak any English uh, my, he's, he's a great guy, and my uh, mother had her uh, had me when she was 17 years old. So she was a pregnant 16-year-old in Albuquerque, New Mexico, in high school, which was not cool. And uh, she made it work, and her her parents, my grandparents, helped her with that whole thing and made made that all work. And if you don't get that kind of support somehow, it doesn't have to be your parents. Sometimes people get lucky, it's a grandparent or it's a friend or a family friend or a teacher. It can be somebody, but you need that. Somebody has to step into your life. And that's a lottery that I suspect a lot of people in this room have also won, just like me. How can you do so many different things? Why don't you stick to the knitting? The kind of traditional advice would be to stay focused and keep the business simple. And I, I, the way I think about this is we actually do stick to one thing. It's just not um, described. It's not the business itself. We do web services, which is you know big enterprises buying compute services from us. And we have our retail business. And we have Amazon Studios, which is making original content. Amazon Go, the things you listed. So, but the. The cultural thread that runs through all of these things is the same. We only have a few principles at Amazon, kind of core values that we go back to over and over again. And if you looked at each of the things that we do, you would see those run straight through everything. So the first one, and by far the most important one, is customer obsession. And we talk about it as customer obsession as opposed to competitor obsession. And I have seen over and over again companies talk about that they're customer focused, but really when I pay close attention to them, I believe they are competitor focused. And that's just a completely different mentality. By the way, competitor focus can work, um, but I don't think it works in the long run as well as customer focused. For one thing, once you're the leader, if your whole culture is competitor obsessed, it's kind of hard to stay energized and motivated if you're out in front. Um, whereas customers are always unsatisfied, they're always discontent, they always want more. And so no matter how far you get out there in front of your competitors, you're still behind your customers. So they're always pulling you along. So customer obsession is a deep principle that underlies everything we do. Another one is eagerness to invent. So we love to pioneer. And when we have done, by the way, whenever we have tried to do something in a kind of me too fashion, we have failed at it. Um, we need to have something that is differentiated, unique, uh, something that customers are going to like that we're kind of leading with. So that's another element that works for us. And then uh, another one is long term thinking. We are willing to, uh, to, to take some time and be patient with our business initiatives and that runs through everything. So a lot of our competitors might have to have two to three year kind of time frames and we might have more of a five to seven year sort of time frame and then the last one operational excellence so li literally you know how do you have high standards around you know identifying defects fixing defects at the root all of those kinds of things that lead to what i think also can be in a simpler way just stated as professionalism that you want to do things right just for the sake of doing them right